Welcome everyone, Christine here with some Kingdom Come Deliverance. Been a while, but I thought I'd check out all of uh, the DLC. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? I want to fight. What are the rules of the tournament? Is there anything I should watch out for? Well, it's not a life or death struggle. We're not barbarians, after all. Anything in particular you'd like to know? Can I borrow weapons and armor here? Not only can you, you have to. This is about fighting skill, not about who's got the best kit. So you and your opponent get the same. There's equipment prepared for all the combatants. As soon as you sign up, you'll have armor and weapons prepared for you too. What kind of weapons are used in the tourney? You can take your pick. In the first two duels, that is. If a third duel is needed to decide the matter, Sir Hanish chooses the weapons. Thanks. That's all I need to know. I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. All right. As long as you've got the enrollment stake, Sir Hanish's rule is every contestant has to put up three score groschen. Of course. Here you are. What's your name? I'm Henry, from Scalitz. I'll make a note of that. And I need to know what weapon you choose. Longsword. I reckon it's what I'm best at. Good. Get yourself ready. You're next in line. See you later. Okay, let's fight. I've chosen the longsword. I feel most comfortable with it. And I will tear them apart. The first combatant will be... Alder Friar, a man-at-arms from Sir Divish of Townboat's garrison. And he will face Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Radzik Kobla. Welcome okay. our warriors. Let's fight then. All is prepared for the first duel. We will witness a duel with longswords. Indeed. Let's go. The stamina mod that I used to He's all finished. Okay, good. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Our warriors will fight with hunting swords. Sure, if that's what he wants, that's what we'll get. Wow, okay. How the hell did they win? Combat skills in this round and emerge victorious. He shall proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay. I'm not quite certain what I did just there, but I'll take it. Might have been one of my perks uh, kicking in. Meeting face to face in this round will be Obram, known as Spudderhawk, archery master of Kaling, and his adversary will be Henry of Skelets. From the company of Sir Radzik Kabla. Let us wish the combatants luck. Okay. And tourneys are and not about to. The first bout will afford plenty of entertainment. We will witness a duel with longswords. Can we just get going? Let's go. I need to get my stamina back. Bring it on.
Okay, I blocked. Oh, nice move. Okay, he's kicking the shit out of me. back boy how long okay just gonna kick him on our up how much more can he take Okay. The victor of the first duel is Henry of Scalettes. He's lucky I can't use my regular gear because I have gear that would make me a raid boss effectively. The second bout will surely be no less exciting. This one may decide the winner. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. Okay, axes. Not really good with that. Haven't really learned a lot. Uh... Okay. You just took an axe blow to the head, you're not walking out from that. one from him gonna get the head cracker done we have a victor in the second duel he is Henry of Scalettes having proved his combat skills in this round and emerged victorious he shall proceed to the next round of the Ratai Tournay indeed now I go for a long sword The first combatant will be Henry of Skelets from the company of Sir Ratze Kabla. And his adversary will be the victor of many previous tournays and a combatant today too, Peter, called Black Peter. Welcome our warriors. Black Peter. Is this like the Black Prince? Or more like Black and Walder? <laughs> Plenty of entertainment. We will witness a duel with long swords. I'm gonna kick you in the mud, boy. Whoa! Shouldn't underestimate it. He is a tough bastard.
He kicked me. Done. The combatant who emerges victorious from the first round is Henry of Scalitz. Okay, let's see about the second round, what kind of weapon he'll prefer for it. And now's the time to choose weapons for the next duel. Prepare to watch a fierce fight with axes and shields. Also known as the part that I'm worst at. It's certainly my biggest weakness. He's bleeding. Nice. Catching the axe there. Got him cornered. I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Come on, go down. The victor of the second duel is Henry of Scalitz. Lords and ladies, good men and good wives, you have just witnessed the final duel in today's Ratai Tournay for which we all owe gratitude to Sir Hanush of Lipa. All glory to the victor, Henry of Scalitz, man-at-arms in the company of Sir Radzik Kobila. His prize will be given to him by our gracious Sir Hanush. Did it in the end, Henry. No doubt you're well satisfied, and I'm sure you'll be happy with this prize. I certainly am, my lord. Thank you, sir. Take care. There's no end to work.
Greetings. What do you need? Good luck, then. Okay, I'll go for the mill. It's getting late and Henry is being delayed for some reason. Need to eat as well. I do I should have some food though. I have a dog. Isn't he cute? <laughs> hey! Please tell me I didn't, thankfully. Okay. Greetings. I'm interested in betting on the tourney. Of course you are. What can I bet on? Let's keep it simple. You can bet on yourself to win the whole tournament. If you reckon you're up to it, not everyone's got what it takes. If you lose, you forfeit your wager. But if you win, you'll get double back from me, on top of the prize money from Sir Hanush. That's a fair wager, ain't it? What do you say? Nah, I don't fancy it. Goodbye. Oh, Henry of Scalitz, the glorious victor of the Rat Eye Tourney. What's that dog you have here? He looks familiar. Don't you remember him? It's Mart, the butcher's dog from Scalitz. Ah, of course. When I went back to bury my parents, he was guarding his master's dead body. A faithful dog. How come he's here? When we carted you here, we took Mutt along too. He's been hanging around the mill ever since. What does the miller have to say about it? He can't stand him. How's that? Every time he sees him, he starts shouting that he's a useless mouth to feed and that'll skin him. Jesus. And it didn't even soften his heart when Mutt brought a hare from the woods. He was happy to eat it, but it didn't change his mind. I could have a word with him. Mm, that would be a waste of time. How's you doing? A lot better now. I slipped him something good now and again when Uncle wasn't looking. He won't starve to death then. Does he obey you? Me? <laughs> not much. He's got a mind of his own, and I'm just not strict enough. Ah, spoilt then. No. He just hasn't learned many commands, but he's well able to beg for a piece of meat. How long has he been with you? More or less since we came here. He runs off now and again, but he always comes back. Sometimes I don't see him all day. I think he likes to go wandering. So he's doing quite well then? Yeah. I'd keep him, but he reminds me too much of Tinker, you know? I don't want to think about Scalit. So... I thought maybe you might take him with you? Me? I'm sure the two of you would get on great. He's a handsome fella and lovable. I'd be very happy if you had him. But we never had a dog at the smithy. We never needed one. Come on. He's got no one. Ah, uh, all right. I'll take him. He can keep me company on my travels. Thanks, Henry. Go and get him, then. He's sniffing around somewhere here. Well, you're a sight for sore eyes. About that evening. Ah, yes. I never thanked you properly for helping me with the laundry. That storm would have carried it off to God knows where. Oh, I think you thanked me enough. But next time, we should take shelter somewhere else. 
That hasty gets into places it shouldn't and itches like mad. Henry, you donkey. You really know how to sweet talk a girl, don't you? And anyway, what do you mean by next time? Just what exactly do you have in mind for the two of us? How do you see things? Me? Hmm. Well, when you're not behaving like a total nincompoop, I kind of like being with you. I behave like a nincompoop? Yes, like now, answering a question with another question. How do you see it with us, Henry? If I really must say it, I... I like you very much, and you saved my life in Scalitz. And you saved mine, so we're even. Well, we'll be together, like a couple. And when the time comes, you'll take me as your husband, right? <laughs> You're full of yourself, aren't you? But that's not how things are done. Well, obviously, under normal circumstances, I'd ask your pa for your hand, but... Papa? Yes. He'd set the dogs on you. Now you'd have to get Uncle Peshek's blessing. I reckon I'd have no better luck with him, unless he saw a way to profit from it. And I'd have a sack of flour for my dowry. But seriously, Henry, what kind of husband would you make? You can't sit still in one place for an hour at a time. Well, I've got a lot of duties, but I'm very fond of you, you know. And maybe one day you... I know, you silly sod. We can't get married yet. But we can still see each other and be fond of each other. Wouldn't you like to take a stroll somewhere? I'd love to. Listen, Teresa. There's something I ought to tell you. What is it? What's troubling you? Uh, I'm not quite sure how to tell you, so I'll just spit it out. So Radzi Kobola is... my father. <laughs> and King Wenceslas is my cousin. Oh, you really had me going. No, I'm serious. What? But, Henry, how on earth could... I know. It was a shock for me, too. It turns out Sir Radzig and my mother had some... romance. Of course, he couldn't marry a commoner. And your father? I mean, the blacksmith. God, that sounds so odd. I mean, Martin. He knew Sir Radzig from way back. Martin... Pa married her before I was born. To protect her reputation. And raise me as his own. And Sir Radzig allowed it? Sure. Actually, I get a feeling the whole thing was agreed between them. So Radzig was glad she wasn't left alone with a child. My God, Henry. That's just... And what will that mean for you? Mm. I honestly don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, it all depends on Sir Radzig, doesn't it? As his illegitimate son, I don't have any rights as such. But it's not like I've suddenly become a noble like Capon. And even though Sir Radzik has publicly acknowledged me, well, sort of, it hasn't really changed anything. And if Sir Radzik decided to make a real noble of you, would you want that? Why not? Let's be the Lord. Me become a noble? Fine clothes, hunting, drinking wine from a gold goblet, and stuffed pheasant for breakfast? Ha! Of course! Who wouldn't want it? <laughs> I think there's a little more to it than that, Henry. You'd have huge responsibilities. Uh, true. But anyway, it's not important what I want. A bastard will always be a bastard. I don't know. All sorts of things can change. Would you... Would you still care for me, a common millmaid? If you were a nobleman? 
Of course. I'll always be fond of you. Nothing will change that. I'll remember that. I hope you won't regret those words. No fear of that. Ignoring the fact that he has an affair with the nobleman's wife, but let's not talk about that too much. That certainly was a nice conversation. Dived into some uh, details. <laughs> okay. So, that was the tourney, and that was a. And I have a dog. And, Here we uh, are. Thanks for stopping by, Henry. My pleasure. Greetings. Good luck, then. Hey, Mutt. Remember me? From Scalix, remember? You wanna go with me? Come on, then. We'll get on like a house on fire. Follow me. There's the good doggy. That's my boy. Here, heel. Come along, free. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Here, heal.
Come along, free. Okay. I remember when the uh, when the Kickstarter pitch was put out that they want wanted to do a dog. Guess they finally succeeded. I haven't followed the game closely. I've had other things on my mind since uh, it came out. Various things. So there is the DLC with her that I can do. There is a quest giver over there. A uh, new DLC quest in the monastery. And then there is this one as well. The Adventures of Capon. Okay. God grant you health. How may I help you? I need to. I'd like to uh, order something here. So, what are you interested in? Just cleaning. Get myself fixed up a bit. Have a bath and get my clothes washed. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Take care. Yeah. I just went to clean my armor. For some reason, the DLC no longer works in respect to that. Or it's bugged or something like that. Some of, the, some of the stuff that I use, some of the mods that I use work. Like uh, the reshade obviously still works. The depth of field modification so I don't have depth of field in di dialogues works. Let me try. Greetings. What do you need? Food. Good luck, then. I've got something for you. I got them from Uncle Peshek. Just don't go poking them where you shouldn't. Uh, they're lockpicks. They're not really intended for poking in your own locks. True, but at least don't get caught. And if you do, you didn't get them from me. I've got something that needs stitching up. Could you do it for me? All right. I can't have you walking around in torn rags, can I? Show it here. Okay, Christine signing out.